So in order to use our remote desktop software, hopefully you would have already have spoken to us and we will direct you to remote.nicogo.com which you can get to by simply clicking here. And you'll then be taken to this page where you'll enter the nine digit session ID that we give followed by your name. Then you click join session. Depending on your browser it's going to either ask you to run, save or in Google Chrome it will download to the bottom left. Here I'm using Firefox so I need to choose to save the file. Then ask somewhere to save the file to. Once we've finished our download, so in Firefox I click on the downloads and click to open the file. With Chrome you click down here and choose run i.e. is probably just going to prompt you to run or open. We open our file. It can take a little while to run and if you're not using an admin account it will pop up Windows user access control to ask for admin credentials on the local machine. You'll then eventually get this message asking you to become the presenter and allow remote control. Click yes to accept or you can select application selection to hide certain applications on your machine. At this point the engineer is then remotely connected to this machine. If there's certain things that you don't wish us at our end to see, if you head over to application selection here you can choose particular programs that you don't want us to see. For example, if we turn off the Makogo program, we can see the view from our point. We're just going to see a blue blob where this is on the screen. If you want to chat with us, because we're not talking over the phone, we've got a chat window where you can message us. And then we can message you back, which I do from the other side. We've also got a drawing option here where you can choose to just pencil on your own screen to highlight the issues to us. You've also got the option, we just turn that back off, which you do via a right tick, there's a pair of help tick there, and turn that off to get rid of that editing. You do have the option if you don't wish us to have remote access, to just change control. We can disable the control for the remote end here and then you can just show us without us actually interacting with your desktop. If you need to transfer over any files, you can hit the file transfer button, click add, and then this will then bring up a browser window for you to browse your PC. And then select the file or files that you wish to transfer over. Click open, send, and our user, our end, will get a prompt to accept the files. When you're done or we're done, you can just click the cross, and this will prompt you saying that it's going to end the session for you, at which point we no longer have any access to your machine.